Hi, welcome to Liz's Easy Living. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Here's a little story all about how I came to get this vinegar. There's this thing called chitlins and they're absolutely disgusting. They look disgusting, they smell disgusting, and as I was discussing them with my sister, hey Tiff, I discovered how to get the smell of the nasty chitlins out of my house. So why were chitlins in my house, right? Okay, my boyfriend loves chitlins. His family makes them for him every year. And I just had the pleasure of this year him bringing them home to our home. That's fine. He can love the chitlins. Nobody else in his family really loves the chit chitlins, but his godmother makes them for him because she's very sweet. I'm talking to my sister about how it smelled up the whole house and it just is a terrible, terrible odor. I was trying to eat some apple pie while he was warming them up <laughs> and I couldn't even finish the apple pie because even in the other room, it smelled up the house. So she told me to put out a bowl of vinegar. Went and bought some vinegar. I knew he wanted to have some chitlins today and warm them up from the leftovers and I actually decided to simmer the vinegar. I read that it um, disperses or deodorizes the house faster when you simmer it on the stove. Um, I started to simmer it before I even started cooking them. So if you're not used to a vinegar smell, then you might not like it, but it's way better than stinky, moldy foot. It worked odor. probably about 90%. If I had to walk past them to go to the sink or whatever, I could smell it, but the odor wasn't quite as bad. Um, if I was on the opposite side, then I really couldn't smell it at all. So I guess it was a success. Thank you, Tiff, for the tip. And I'll definitely be using that again because at least once a year, those chitlins will be used. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.